This is the high voltage probe that I used to show how you can measure a much higher resistance, 480 megs as an example, on a meter that normally can't go anywhere near that high. So I thought after that I would show how to use this high voltage probe on a uh, 10 meg ohm uh, resistive input uh, meter. So I just happen to have a fluke here. Very common for a lot of meters these days to have 10 meg ohm input. So that will also apply to uh, your situation if you have a 10 meg ohm input meter. And here's what we're going to be looking at. This is 480 meg ohms. This is 10. So we're going to end up with a 49 to 1 situation here. 480 across the 10 gives us 49 to 1. I have 10 volts going in from over there. You can see the 10 volts on here. So we got 10 volts right there. And uh, what I'm going to show is I'll take this pro or this off of here and we'll go now through the probe itself. So we're going to through the 480 and we were looking for about 204 uh, millivolts. And if I turn this down to the 300 millivolt scale to get better accuracy, we can see we're at 206. Pretty close. That's not, that's not a bad uh, reading there. We're within a couple of percent. So if you have a more modern high voltage probe that is designed to work on a 10 mega ohm input meter like this, this is most likely that what the situation is going to be for you. You're probably going to have a 100 to 1 probe or some such. And because this is 10 mega ohm inputs, the probe itself is going to be 990 mega ohms across it. And uh, obviously be very careful if you're going to be measuring any of these sorts of voltages. Now this meter is set as are made so that it can handle a, a thousand volts. So a thousand times a hundred does not mean that you can buy, you can uh, measure a, safely measure a hundred thousand volts. Your, your probe is going to tell you what you can measure if it's a 30 kilovolt probe or whatever it is, that's going to be your maximum. One of these two things, whatever the smallest measurement is, is going to be your maximum that you should go to. Uh, one of my meters only goes to 500 volts. That still, if that's a 30 kV probe, that's the maximum for that. Be very careful with this sort of thing. So to connect the high voltage probe into the Simpson meter, you would take the negative black and hook that into the negative side. The positive lead, red here, hook that into the positive connection down here. Switch the meter to a thousand volt selection right down here. The alligator clip goes to the ground or chassis or whatever it is that you're, that you're reading. And then obviously ever so carefully probe whatever it is you're trying to get a high voltage reading on with the tip. Keep your hands behind that guy. So here's the situation with our high voltage probe when it's used with the uh, Simpson meter. The Simpson meter being 20,000 ohms per volt on the thousand volt scale, that makes it a 20 mega ohm meter. That 20 mega ohm in series with the 480 that's in the probe, the 480 megs, gives us a 25 to 1 situation. So when we have 25,000 volts here, this will be full scale on the 1000 volts because it's divided down by 25. That scale actually has a 250 on it, so we can actually use that number uh, for 25,000 volts. We'll use the 200 as 20,000 volts, etc.